This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2006 Ford F-250 Crew Cab. It's a Lariat with the Amarillo package, which is extremely rare. Short bed crew cab, 6.0 turbo diesel, 4x4. Uh, very low miles, 101,018 actual miles. It was a trade-in to the new car group, uh, Jim Click new car group here in Tucson. Um, extremely clean and straight. My guy's doing an inspection. We drove it back from uh, from uh, Click Steel, uh, down I-10, hauling ass, runs great. Um, extremely clean and straight, well-maintained by previous owner. Um, all we had to do to it was a detail, runs and drives great. <laughs> Rest in peace, Don Shula. Yeah, I remember the day. I remember when they went uh, undefeated. I remember the Super Bowl. Uh, there was a place kicker in there that didn't know how to throw a pass. You might want to Google that. That was part of that game. Um, Jim Kick, Larry Zonka, Bob Greasy, Don Shula. Hell of a team. Don Shula, rest in peace. Anyway, back to the truck. Uh, I'm gonna walk around this truck. It's really good looking really good looking truck um it's got a nice set of uh really expensive toyos on it what are the sizes on this guy let's see looks like they're do, 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 do. here it is it is at 35 12 and a half 20. if i see anything cosmetically that you need to look at i will uh zoom in on it or i'll point at it so you can look at it closer in the photo gallery um, really, there's a little touch up right there. Rock chip, oh, no, that'd be bird shit, or bug shit. That'd be bug shit. It's a pretty truck, really pretty truck. Anyway, I'll, like I said, I'll point at something if I see something wrong. Right now, I'm not seeing anything wrong. Uh, it has, uh, power running boards which I'll demo in a second I'll show you the Carfax I'll show you the Kelly Blue Book I will show you the uh, uh, well I already did the inspection from my guys it does have uh, manual um, air suspension which we discovered the fillers were gosh darn it where are the fillers oh there it is the fillers right there bang Okay. It was somewhere under the bumper. Probably could use another coat of uh, black uh, Rhino liner. If you did anything. Or just get a rattle can and black it out. That's a little chip right there. For an 06, this thing looks like it's brand new. I mean... For an 06 is amazing. I did see a pretty nasty touch up right here. I guess that's nasty for this truck. He didn't do a very good job. Probably needs to be taken out and retouched. That would be a lot better. There's your, uh, by the way, those are expensive as hell, by the way. Those amp research running boards. All right, I'm gonna fire this guy up and then we'll go into the hood. And then uh, I'll take off the uh, cap the oil we'll look for blow by the whole bit let's see if I can get back to there you go push that down I have a bad habit of holding the uh the hood release up which causes problems I'm trying to break myself of that habit all right first thing we want to look for is forge stamp forge stamp on this fender that's original we got a ram air intake system here You have another Ford stamp here. You got a Ford stamp here. So all the parts up front are original. You got the stickers where they belong. It's all good. No blow by at all, which I wouldn't expect. This guy uh, took really good care of this truck. I'm actually surprised he traded it in. That's kind of weird. So apparently when you open up that door, they both come open which is, I think he's got them wired into that door, which is odd. 
I'm not really sure why he would do that unless he doesn't want to do one in his truck. Um, here's your F-250. Uh, this is a Kelly Blue Book, by the way. 101,018 miles. 21,268 is a typical listing price with a range of 18.3 to 22.1. That'd be a hell of a buy for 21,000 on this truck. All right, here's the uh, Carfax itself. There's the VIN. Excellent condition. History of events affecting this vehicle's value. That's ridiculously low, but it is what it is, so I just report the news. Uh, they basically blend the Carfax and the Kelly Blue Book, and they come up with that number as a retail number. I don't think they're right on that. But see, actually, when you when you when I did this, when you go to Carfax to do this, they don't even give you an Amarillo edition drop down. They just give you a Lariat. So this is just a Lariat, plain Lariat. So it probably would add two or three thousand dollars to that. Um, there's the VIN for the car. No accidents and damage. No uh, Carfax one owner. Let's see. It was born in Washington State. <laughs> And like almost every 6.0 in the world, it was stolen for a week from 4.17.10 to 4.24.10. And the guy, instead of, uh, you know, demanding uh, a full payment, he wanted the truck back, which tells you he loves the truck because almost everybody wants a big check. And he instead he wanted the truck back. So <laughs> there you go. Ba -ba -ba. Obviously, it was an indoor truck, so that's that. Here's your manual, heated seat on and off. Seat forward, back, up, down, tilt forward, down, tilt up, down. There's your Amarillo patch. I don't think this guy ever had anyone in the, any seat except the driver's seat. And I can tell you, because I know these things very well, see so the trim for these things is kind of cool, a little silver trim, that he wasn't overweight. Because if you are, you tear up the outside seat bolster on these trucks and his driver's seat isn't torn up. He had some sort of an amp system in here. TV or something going on. Which he could or could not take advantage of at a later date. We left it there. Now watch. See the other side go up? He was antisocial. He wanted to be in control of the uh, the only person in charge of uh, the other running board. It's funny. Window. 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 Let's see. Window. Mirrors out. In. Down up it's funny at click almost all new car dealers they can't sell anything over a hundred thousand miles on their on their used car dealerships because their lenders won't lend to their buyers i bet this one made them cry selling this one not selling this one on their property retail that's a stupid rule too especially on diesel that's dumb this car is they, they this was sitting at Jim Click. They put twenty five thousand on the windshield to sell it in a heartbeat for twenty three or so, twenty two, twenty three, in a heartbeat. There's the power pedals up and down. Tilt wheel. All right, let me get up in this big boy. All right. I got my remote for the gate. That sucks. All right, so you got the remote, you got the Arm Amarillo Special Edition center console. Couple, it gives you all this like matte silver. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Seven six one seven nine five one. Steering controls for the radio. Change stations. Blah blah blah. CD player. Air conditioning. Let's do the steering controls. Fan up and down. Temperature up and down. Let's do it manually also. There you go. That rear window. That thing's moving too. That's almost the first thing to wear out. This thing's moving too. 
they're going too good. I bet at some point he's replaced them because usually by 100,000 miles, they don't move like that. There's tow on and off. Let's see what else we got. Cruise control, but you can only do that in the Ford when you're moving. Let's see, let's do a systems check. Engine temp okay, transmission temp okay, oil pressure okay, brake fluid level okay, all doors closed, air filter okay. 157,000, 157 miles to open. System check complete. All right, let me put it into neutral. We're gonna go to four low. Now we're in four low, okay? Drive, that's definitely four low. That's granny gear. And reverse in four low. All right, neutral. Now we're gonna go to four high. Low range goes away, four high comes on. Take it through the gate here. That's in four high, and then reverse in four high. All right, neutral, let's go back to two wheel drive. We are there. All right, air's blowing ice cold. This is a beautiful truck. I don't think, uh, one of my brother's price things right now, I'm sure it'll be sold in about one minute. Um, but uh, who knows, he's in charge of pricing them. I'm not gonna get irritated, even though I might what he puts it at but can't replace this one uh, anyway if you come to Tucson to drive at home this is how it'll work you will pay your state tax rate whatever that is plus our city tax of 2.7 percent and a $250 dock fee if you pay by wire and ship out of state all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it there'll be no tax no dock fee um, just the price once we receive your full payment by wire, we'll fill out the title with uh, your name or your company's name and address. We will uh, scan it in, we'll sign it, and then we'll scan it in to your online file so you'll be able to see it immediately, and then we'll mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. Um, you will have it shipped to you. Once the shipper shows up, you'll take the title you already got from the mail and go get in place. It's very simple. If you need help with shipping, let us know early on in the transaction. We will uh, uh, help you in whatever you need done. Uh, you can do it yourself you're welcome to but if you need help let us know uh, we can uh, roll the price of the shipping into the into the uh, deal itself uh, we can just tell you uh, who to call uh, we're very good at shipping we ship all the time for ourselves so we decided to just start helping people that way uh, anyway uh, deposits five hundred dollars once we have a deposit we have a deal until then it will stay for sale so make sure you get that deposit in this truck is awesome <laughs> I drive six O's all the time, many different ones, all the time, every year, every type. And this is this is a really nice one. Really, on a one to 10, this is a 10. This is definitely a 10. Um, anyway, get your deposit in. Once uh, we have your $500 deposit, it's uh, no longer for sale. Until then, it will stay for sale, okay? Um, last part of every video, I say the same thing. I can actually hit a recording and do this. Um, I hate, you know, having to do this every single time. I should just, like, I literally have a recording right now. It's so boring to me. Um, we don't have salesmen, so we don't have to pay for them. So you're not paying for them in the price of this. Uh, we don't have a beautiful location. You just saw where we came from. We have razor wire, night vision cameras. Uh, we have a nice little battle every night between the crackheads and the, that are zombies at night and the cops that are all over our property. Um, but obviously that doesn't cost much. So you're not paying for that. Uh, you're not paying for a lounge to hang out in and drink lattes prepared by an attendant. We don't have, you know, the bottled water with our name on it. Uh, we don't have any of that stuff. They got that at the auto mall, and you're paying for every one of those things when you buy a vehicle from them. Every single time. Okay? Um, they also know at the auto mall that if they sold you this truck and a window motor went out or the radio decided to take a crap or the windshield wipers decided not to work or whatever brakes, injector, who knows, that you're going to come back and say, fix my truck. And so they jacked the price up. On this truck, probably $1,000 just for that. Um, and in this truck, you'll never show up, you know, in, the, in, in two or three weeks. Um, let me, God, I forgot my remote, man. Um, you'll never show up, so they just made $1,000. Uh, we don't add that $1,000 or $500 or $1 because we're not fixing your truck. We give you the Carfax, we give you the Kelly Blue Book, we give you the uh, uh, 
information that we know, what, how we've driven it, what we know about it, what our inspection revealed, um, so you can make a good decision. Um, because we're not making as much money as we possibly can, um, you're saving money, even on this truck, which is an impossible truck to save money on. But you are saving money because you're buying from us because you're not paying for all that crap. Use that money you're saving to fix something that goes wrong. What that would be on this truck, I have no idea. This truck is sweet. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I see that little window molding there. That might be the biggest flaw on it. That window molding likes to stick up in the air. Someone, somebody at some time probably slim jimmed it and detached that. The outside window molding there. <laughs> when that's the problem, you're killing it. Um, even the wear on the steering wheel, man. This guy was pretty freaking, pretty freaking crazy. Huh. Anyway, beautiful truck. Thank you for your time.